Back again. I hear your slithering. Venom-toothed viper. The only cure for madness is madness. This is called the Force Walk. I'm taking your power for my own. And to think I scoffed when they told me such a ritual existed. Do you really think you can handle my power? It doesn't matter. You won't have me. This is my last stronghold. And I won't be your slave. I will free you when I'm done. You will free me? I will not be bound to you or to this tomb. Seal the pact in blood, and I will come. I'd say we've come to an agreement. one's writings and show that on what a good apprentice you've been. I got what you wanted. Hmm. You've put me in a difficult position. When Zash disobeyed me and had Scotia killed, tradition demanded she be killed and her power base destroyed. Believe me, when I say I wish that you had stayed in that tomb, it will pain me to watch you die. I don't understand. I didn't do anything. Your master openly defied me, and I cannot risk you following in her footsteps. May the Force welcome you with open arms. Kill her. You truly are relentless. I can see now why Zash chose you. But this has carried on long enough. Ah, you've come prepared. By now, I should have expected it of you. Unfortunately for you, I am older, and wiser, and studied in rituals you can't even imagine. I have business on Malachor III. Prepare my ship and see that this one gets a respectful cremation. Yes, my lord. We need to hurry out of here. If Thanaton finds out you're still alive, we're all in trouble. What happened to me? Thanaton tried to kill you. Look, I'll explain when we get back to the ship. My lord, you're back. <laughs> Thought you were gone. I could get trampled by a bantha herd and not get knocked around as bad as you. We followed Thanaton's servants, cut them down, and pulled you out of a ditch. You didn't have a pulse at first. But then Carl noticed you were still warm. I don't know how you survived that. That explains why I'm still alive. Where's Thanaton? You sure you're ready to face him? He did a real number on you. Your survival is the most remarkable thing I've ever witnessed. I still can't quite figure it out. It seems Thanaton's ritual was too powerful for your shield. But he didn't fully understand the bond between you and the dead. To kill you, he would have had to purge their spirits. You died, and their very presence kept you alive. That's great, but what do we do? We can't wait for Thanaton to come back and kill us. I'll find the most powerful dead in the galaxy, bind them, and take their power. Thanaton won't stand a chance. It's a gamble. None of us know what the cost of acquiring so much power so quickly could be. 
We don't seem to have any choice. Exactly. Better to do something than sit here and wait to be killed. So where do we find more ghosts? Jebel and Taz were investigating something of that nature. I sent a man to investigate shortly before my unfortunate change. I'd have to do more research on the matter to confirm, but I suggest making contact with him. I am most grateful. I wish we had more to go on, but right now that's all I have. Corin and I will dig around too, and we'll keep an eye on Thanaton. If he makes a move, we'll let you know. Good luck, my lord. Zash, has your research turned up anything else on this terrorist ghost? Ni pate uvaro is sandan suare kanidene akja swaluda is. Figures the old lady isn't around when we need her. Gina nakangangi sat. We can cope without her. What did she say about Terrace? <laughs> Something about some Jedi investigating an old Sith ghost. Said she had a Sith on the planet looking into it. Elios Malice, I think. Surprised there's only one ghost. Story goes, some crazy Darth blew the whole planet to pieces while his own Sith were still on it. Not very practical, but it ain't my business. Anyway, I'd hunt out this Malice guy in the Imperial base and hope he has some answers. Elios Malice, you were sent here to investigate a ghost. What did you discover? I am a busy man, I don't have time for... Oh, my lord, I... I forgive me, I didn't recognize you in your new wardrobe. So grand. This is a pleasant surprise. I have heard the most unfortunate rumors. You're better off not believing anything anyone says about me. <laughs> yes, of course. The grapevine does lie, doesn't it? Now, you are asking about the ghost, yes? Uh, let me see. I assure you I've been hard at work assessing the situation. It's just the Jedi have been guarding the old Jedi Enclave very tightly. That's, um, that's where the ghost first appeared, you see. Don't let it get stuck in your throat. Speak. The ghost appears only sporadically. Not even the Jedi who guard the Enclave can make it appear. They've resorted to using a young Padawan to try and draw the ghost out through blood ties or something. Foolishness if you ask me, but I'm a man of meager understanding. It seems the Jedi have a weak link. The Jedi guard her closely, but I think you may be on to something. Many a Sith is formed from a weak Padawan's impressionable mind. I can't imagine an impressionable young Padawan being able to resist your particular charms, and it would save you the trouble of fighting a small army of Jedi. I cannot twist her, until I understand what tempts her. You might visit the Jedi training grounds by the waterfall. It's abandoned now, dangerous. The data recorders there may hold certain insights into her personality. In the meantime, I will endeavor to learn what I can of her Jedi Masters.